Hi you guys, happy Vlogmas day two. I am gonna be filming a Q&A get ready with me style. Um, I have to film a huge disaster clean with me today. My house is a wreck. It's super snowy outside. It's been snowing all day yesterday and as far as I know all day today it's 10 o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna get ready. Oakland's right next to me. She's just kind of sitting in her boppy, looking around. The TV's on, so she's just like looking at things. Duke is sleeping behind me. I have all my makeup, and I'm gonna get ready for this clean with me and answer some questions that you guys sent me on Instagram. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna get kind of all like my makeup in my lap and settled so I can just be doing it while I talk. Okay, I'm using the Fit Me Dewy and Smooth for dry skin. Um, my shade is 110 porcelain, just in case you're wondering, my Real Techniques sponge. And the first question is, when is it appropriate to start Christmas music and what are your, some of your, and what are some of your favorite jams? I personally, for me and my family, I start listening to Christmas music after Halloween. I am not a wait for Thanksgiving kind of gal. I think the Christmas season is show, so short on its own. Why do we need to wait? I'm not like dissing on Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving, but there's not Thanksgiving music. And I love Halloween music. I love Christmas music. So I'm going to enjoy them as long as I possibly can. What are some of my favorite jams? Any of the Michael Bublé Christmas songs and the Justin Bieber album. My absolute two favorite songs, I totally forgot about these. My absolute two favorites are Silent Night by Luke Bryan, his like rendition of it, it's so good. And Mary Did You Know by Pentatonix is literally so good. So, those are my two favorites. The next one says, how long did it take you to conceive baby girl? Any tips? And I read this one last night, Bessie baby, and I was thinking about it and it took me six cycles so june july august september october november we ended up getting i found out i was pregnant in december but it was six cycles from the way that my cycle works it's like at the end of the month and it's all kind of it's crazy so we tried for six cycles and i think the biggest thing that i did was relax and that was the hardest thing to do that's what everyone said to do was like stop stressing as soon as you stop trying you'll get pregnant all that kind of stuff and i was like impossible to do because i was like we are on a timeline like we have to be trying i have to i have to make this work but honestly it was just the month i ended up getting pregnant was the month that i was traveling with my mom so i got like i basically conceived right before the trip i was relaxed and having fun so the egg stuck and then i came home from my trip and like a week or two later i took a pregnancy test and i was pregnant and so i think just i mean track as much as you want and do what you want but if you aren't getting pregnant those months just take a little break you can still track you can still be aware of like what's going on in your body but i don't think that like stressing about it will do you any good and that was the thing i hated hearing the most and i'm so sorry that i'm telling you it but honestly it's true that's what most people have to do is just calm the heck down it's literally hi baby it can be so stressful on your body trying to get pregnant and if you're crazy about it and like if you're crazy about it and tracking and everything every second of the day it's just gonna be so much harder so those are my tips i'm so sorry also definitely take a prenatal vitamin like from the day you decide you want to start trying even before if you can so good for you and what baby tracking app do you use this question i'm not sure if she means like when i was trying to conceive or with oakland so i'm just going to tell you guys both um the app that i use right now to like track her feeds diapers whatever that kind of stuff growing and stuff is the glow baby app and i used ovia fertility to track my periods when we were trying all that kind of stuff i actually still have the fertility app on my phone just to track my periods at this point but then when we do want to start trying to have another baby i'm going to use that app again i absolutely loved it it was my favorite um that leads us into some more questions but i don't want to like skip through them so I will be talking about baby number two soon. Um, the next question is, when is it the e when is it easiest to work out without worrying about the baby? Um, I've tried a couple of different things, and I personally think that it is the easiest to work out with um, with a baby. 
I guess, obviously when they're asleep. So what I do is either her good morning nap, when she's napping, I just have her in her bed or have her in the mama room and I do a quick workout or I put her in her car seat and I go down to the gym um, and she just sleeps there because I just have like a, 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 I have a complex gym and so it's not ever super busy. Um, so she can just sleep up front by the mirrors and I'm like right by her the whole time and no one's ever in there. And that's it. Honestly, I haven't been great about working out and I'm not super like into it and feeling like I need to get my body back or anything like that. I'm just trying to be healthy and eat food to supply milk for her. And if I can do sit-ups and like some yoga every night, great. I usually do like about 100 sit-ups at nighttime after she's gone to bed just on my floor right next to the bed. Um, and then I stretch out a little bit just so I get some kind of exercise besides like walking around and carrying her. Um, so honestly, the easiest time is just when they're asleep. And if you know they're gonna be asleep for at least 15 minutes, do it then. The next one is what's the best part about the holidays now that you have Oakland? I think the best part about the holidays is that like other people, bless you baby, bless you. Other people want to celebrate too and so like the weeks leading up to the holidays are so much more fun because other people feel the same way that I do and like want to involve themselves and want to be doing stuff with her and want to put her in the cute Christmas outfits or the Thanksgiving stuff or like people want to be involved with her as much as I want her to be involved in like all the fun activities and so it's just like more fun activities in the week rather than me just staying home with her doing stuff and then the weekends when Riley comes home then we do fun stuff like other people want to involve themselves which is great okay the next question is any plans to move um any plans to move I know living in an apartment with Duke is not ideal at all so true um <laughs> if you guys watched my vlogs before I had Oakland I was a wreck like I mean literally like the vlogs like days before I had her I was a mess I was so stressed about living in an apartment with Duke and having to take him downstairs other dogs having a baby it was really 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 stressful like very anxiety inducing it's gotten a lot better since I've had her not even just my anxiety but like Duke can read off of my feelings now and I'm not as stressed so he's not as stressed don't get me wrong I something definitely flipped when I was pregnant and he is not a fan of other dogs which before he had no problem with dogs um, and so something kind of flipped we'll definitely have to do like training to get that fixed or get him just to at least like not want to fight other dogs um, but yes we do have plans to move um, we'll be moving in January, so actually it's coming up super soon. We probably need to start like packing and cleaning things up. Not packing, but you know what I mean, like getting things organized. Um, because we do move in January. And we'll be um, house sitting my mom's house for a little bit. Um, it could go up to a couple of months because they're on a trip, but it might only be a little bit depending on when we find our house. Um, and we'll be watching their dog, which I'm excited for. Obviously, Duke and Tiny Pal get along fine. It's just Duke and new dogs that he doesn't know and didn't meet before I was pregnant. So, I'm super excited for that. I'm excited to go back to her house. We lived there before I had Oakland. So, it'd be kind of cool to see how the house, like, works for us when we have her. Um, but we're still very actively looking for houses. And if we only end up moving there for a week or whatever, like, that would suck. But so be it. I am so excited to buy our own house. And if we stay there for five months, great. A week, great. Um, we're moving in January, but we're still looking for our own house to buy. Okay. So, then I have two of the same questions basically the first one says i can't remember if you've talked about it already but are you going to be a stay-at-home mom and the other one says will you go back to your other job or are you able to stay home and do youtube so kind of the same thing um i am a stay-at-home mom i do not have any plans of going back to work um that was never really in our plans if it, the option or opportunity presented itself, she was getting fussy, so she's with us now. Hi. 
I don't have to go back to work. It's not like a very pressing need right now. And so unless a great opportunity presents itself or something comes up and I need to go back to work, then no, I'm staying at home. I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and YouTuber and I love it. That is my dream. That's my dream job, my everything. I'm so happy and grateful that I am able to have this opportunity with my little baby. Huh? No, Christmas jammies. And that same girl asked question, she said also, how are you? I know most people ask about the baby, but not very many ask about the mom. I'm doing great. I'm so happy that I didn't have any postpartum anxiety or depression. Um, that was a huge, huge, huge thing before I got pregnant. I was so worried about. So I'm really happy that I don't have any. I didn't have any. She's almost four months old and things are going great. The next question is, do you want more babies? And if so, how close in age? And I can honestly answer we have no idea. Before I had her, you, I would have said, yes, we want three kids. We want them two years apart. Um, we're so excited. We want three kids, blah, blah, blah. After having Oakland, I had such a great experience, which this sounds weird. I had such a great labor and delivery. I had such an easy recovery. I had such a great pregnancy. She's so easy, guys. She literally sleeps like six to seven hour stretches, wakes up to eat, goes right back to bed. I don't have to rock her. I don't have to do anything. Like she literally falls right back asleep in her bed. Like I, she's such a good baby and I'm not bragging. I'm just saying like, I'm so lucky that it's honestly kind of put some questions in our mind is if we really want to have a second and honestly risk, that's a really bad word, but like she is easy she's perfect everything was super easy i'm like a little bit scared to have another kid and get pregnant again because what if it's super hard and i'm sick every single day what if my labor and delivery is super hard what if my recovery is really hard and then i'm gonna have two kids like it's it's really scary so i can honestly say we don't know <laughs> like obviously we're like oh we want her to have a sibling like we want more kids but i can't imagine taking any time away from her to have another kid um, and I know it all works out once you do have a kid and I know we will want kids but right now we're not even thinking about it if we did we'd want them like three years apart at this point so we have some time um, so we won't be trying anytime soon is I guess what I'm saying I guess because I put those two questions together, do you get to stay home at YouTube or are you gonna go back to work? Um, the last question is, are you still in love with your moist tonight and how has it held up so far? So if you guys didn't know, if you haven't been here since we got engaged, which was years ago, don't worry. <laughs> um, hi baby. This, my ring right here, is a moissanite. So it's not a real diamond, it's a moissanite. It is wonderful. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I wouldn't change it for the world. Honestly, we've been looking into other rings just because oval is so my style. And literally since like our wedding, I was like, oh my gosh, like I kind of regret not choosing an oval ring. Oval is so my style. I know that sounds like, I don't know, super vain, but I'm just being honest here. Um, so we've kind of been looking into like another ring, maybe for a three year anniversary or for Christmas or five years or whatever. Um, and honestly, I have not even looked at a diamond ring. I only look at moissanite. Um, it's literally so great. It's so easy to clean. Like you don't have to go get it cleaned. It's so easy to clean. You don't need to take it anywhere to get cleaned. I mean, you totally could, but you don't need to like I just use like a baby toothbrush and like Dawn dish soap and it is sparkly clean brand new it looks so good because moissanite can give you the look that you want without a massive massive price tag and honestly I think go for it like if you want a ring that is six carats and it's a moissanite do it like I don't I don't care. I've never tried to pass it off as a diamond. If anyone's ever asked me, I'd tell them straight up it's a moissanite. But honestly, I also don't think it's anyone's business. Like, it doesn't matter if you have a moissanite, if you have a cubic zirconium, if you have a real ass diamond, it doesn't matter to me, I think. As long as you have the ring that you want and it looks great and you and your husband are happy, or even if you just buy it as a present, whatever, do what you want. I love my moissanite and I really don't see us ever getting a real diamond. I could bite my tongue later on when we're like much older but honestly especially for us being younger we got married two years ago two and a half years ago 
um, we definitely could not have afforded this ring in a diamond and I am obsessed with it. I love my voice tonight so, so much. I got a sleepy baby. She literally is falling asleep right now. So I'm also actually all done with my makeup. This is all I do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Q&A and get ready with me. I have a cleaning video coming tomorrow. Obviously videos coming every single day until Christmas. So hope you guys enjoyed. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>